And they just feel like there's a renewed confidence for a team that's had success in the ACC tournament in recent memory. Lynn Kidd wins the tap against Huntley Hatfield. And away we go with point guard Sean Padula, the leading scorer. And Hunter Couture, fifth-year senior, second at 14 a game. And it's Padula who starts the scoring. Glenn is calling for it. He's matched up with the stretch for Robbie Barron. Couldn't get it to go. Big matchup there between Glenn and Barron. Who wins that matchup? MJ Collins connects. He's coming in well. He's confident against the matchups, but he's also the secondary ball handler for this team. And Bradley Honey Hatfield gets the turnaround. He knows the double is coming, so he try, has to go quick. Kenny Payne told us he wants more defensive consistency, though, from Johnson. As you see there, as you saw there, the biggest difference is the, the bench production and for both teams. And, and again, we got to figure out a, a way, if you're Louisville, to get the ball to Brantley Huntley Hatfield as much as possible and allow get him in space so he can turn and face, see the double team coming, gets him going, and he can find teammates as well. Robbie Barron sticks the second. Hunter Couture off a screen, buries a three. And Virginia Tech has opened up. Shot clock winding down on Tyler Johnson. Huntley Hatfield, the cut, gives it up for Williams. Knocks it down. I think his ceiling is 20 and 10. I think he's one of those guys. Consistently, yes. you're saying. Yes, I think he has that ability in him because now, you know, he, you see he can turn, face in the post. He sees the double team coming. He's able to drive slower bigs, post up smaller bigs. Here's Kidd. Had the mismatch against White, and he scores his first points. MJ Collins at the controls. Nickel Watts another. Can't hit. And pain the rebound. Got to push in tempo as well. Don't let the Hokies defense set. Johnson can do that. Gets it to go. And a foul. They have so many sets and counters, and their counters have counters, and you got to be disruptive against those guys. Like James buries a triple. Third three for Louisville. They get back within a dozen with James coming off that big performance Saturday against Syracuse. Padula gets bumped, gets it to go, and now he's saddled with three. Yeah, it's big three here for James because he really wants to get to the paint and just a great job by Sean Padula initiating contract, contact, shooting off. More so than they have been the first four years under Mike Young. Barron. Corner three, second triple for Robbie Barron. Like there's a mistake there. You never help off the strong side corner. There's another turnover here. You never want to have turnovers either for Tore the dunk. Hokies having their way up 22, doubling up Louisville. Lead at 19, coming up on four to go. White recovers, late shot clock. Turns it over. That's an ugly offensive possession. 65% yeah. from the floor before that misfire, and they've knocked down seven threes. Glenn on the block against Nickel. Padula for Barron. Extra pass, Collins. Off the shot fake, it's Barron. Swirls one out. Louisville lucky in that defensive possession. Never got matched up. Boy, another costly turnover from the cards. Up top, Collins goes soaring. Tied with Padula for a game high. <laughs> Allegedly. That's the rumor, huh? Johnson kicks it out for Zan Payne. And he's got two threes. Hey. The Hokies run. Padula saw the opening. Lost the handle. That's one of the turnovers you want. Padula has done such a great job of taking care of the basketball. Remember Saturday against Syracuse, trailed by as many as 19 in the second half. But cut it to four in the final 40 seconds. Chop Padula answers right back. Only Hatfield met by a double. Jovanovic finds James. Finishes and a foul. Whistle to this was the blow to whistle here and catches it Dutch settle. James with post entry to Huntley Hatfield. One on one. Now a double. Got his own miss. Follows it up in a foul. 
But Barron can get it. I mean, he sees it coming. He runs right into the double. He knows it's coming early. Quick off his feet. Put a chance at an and one. Ali Hatfield into a double. Back out with five to shoot. It's Johnson. He rises. Buries it. Ten point game. Hanging around with Tyler Johnson. Hitting the up top. James moves it. Johnson. Wow. Nifted. it. Wow. Heck of a finish from Tyler Johnson. He's got to know what he does well offensively. And a lot of times he said it's taking a two instead of a three. I expect them to get in the tournament and win a couple of games as well. Right now in that five spot, but one of the many teams who could get that double bye. Are nine and ten in the ACC. Still got a chance to get a single bye in the tournament next week in D.C. Starting to come around and play better on the offensive end of the floor. And 